Hey guys, Ian here from Better America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching. So this is the trailer that I showed you guys um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was looking for a trailer for quite some time to load up material and tools and stuff to, to take to build sites. Um, I was preferring really a, a flatbed trailer, you know, an open trailer that was, you know, less than 10 foot long and five foot wide, but I couldn't find anything with a reasonable price tag. And so I came across this on Facebook on a buy sell trade page uh, for two. I wanted three hundred bucks, and I ended up paying three hundred or two hundred fifty for it. Um, it's uh, the dimensions of it overall are less than four by eight. Um, it's forty six wide inside to inside, and like ninety inches front to back, which is fine. Um, you know, hauling an eight foot piece of material like lumber. Uh, or a board is kind of a pain in the butt because you gotta put it at an angle or um, you know across the you know corners or up and down to the back. It's not a big deal because uh, I'm gonna be doing some um, renovations to it here pretty quick, including putting a, a rack up here on top. So just a quick rundown as to what I'm gonna be doing with it. Um, what you see here is it completely stripped. I'll throw in a picture here. An overlay of what it looked like before. Um, it was in bad shape. Um, all the all the old wood is right here, actually, except for the the roof. But um, it's all three eighths material with a 22 30 second floor in it. Um, the floor was bad. It's chipped up, and just, it's all treated material, but it's just extremely, you know rotten basically and somebody had tried to paint it this white color um, before I had it but it's just like latex interior paint and so it's not good so let me turn the camera around real quick and I'll show you my intentions and plans for this trailer all right so this trailer you know I, I bought it with the intentions of making it a material hauler because I thought it was a full four by eight foot um, but when I got into it, I figured out, I found out that it wasn't an actual four by eight. And so I'm going to have to make a rack up here to put, you know, full sheets of plywood and um, longer than four foot or eight foot boards, you know, have them hang off of the edge or something here a little bit. It's not a big deal. Um, but I have multiple plans for this. Not only do I want to make it a, you know, a material hauler, a, a tool hauler, but I want to make it dual purpose and make it like a teardrop camper. And so I have ordered a RV door or a, a teardrop camper door, which will go on here, uh, 20 by 20 by 28 inch door. This opening here is, um, I want to say it's 31 here by 26 by 47. And then I think this, this run right here is something like uh, 28, 29 inches. And so it'll fit in here just fine on um, the door I got. Um, up here on this angled piece, I'm going to be putting a, a solar panel and possibly a window, if not just the window. And then here in the front, I want to be putting a toolbox. And I really wanted one of those angled trailer tongue boxes. Um, but I've only got, I want to check, I can move these here. I've only got 15 inches from these bolts here straight back. And from at that position right here of the jack, I've only got 18, but a comfortable 17 inches back. And so I'm going to get a square toolbox to put in here, which will house a battery, a charge controller, and possibly a battery solar charger, which will then help me and power um, the internal lights when it's off the truck and then I'm gonna put a vented or a electric fan vent up in here uh, like an RV and that way I can actually move some air around inside of it in case I do want to you know use it as a camper um, so what else I got here oh I am I do have an order new a new latch here i'm gonna have one of those bar latches that swings out 
comes over and locks down in the middle of the door and appropriate hinges. They're, these are just two inch pieces of uh, half inch tube steel with a three inch uh, steel rod bent and welded on into it. And as you can see this angle here, if I open the door, this has been cutting into this over and over and over and over and over again, which is, it works for what it is right now, but it's not very smooth and it doesn't open all the way because the frame itself, which is the three quarter by three quarter inch angle iron frame, is all bent up. And so I'm going to be making a, a new door for the rear with the gaskets and everything to make sure it's 100% waterproof and then the other accommodations for it. So it's a nice little trailer. It's very, very light as you can see this. I mean, that's without the wood on it right now and I can just pick it up and move it if I need to. Um, with the wood on it, it only takes one person. It's not extremely heavy. A little bit of grunt to pull it to and from the back of the house, but it's just just wide enough and just short enough that it, it hides in behind the house and it's not a hideous you know, piece. So anyways, my door just opened up because it's all under tension because that frame is all bent up. So anyways, I'm going to be doing um, multiple videos on this this trailer here, um, time lapse videos and full length videos. Um, for picture updates, I urge you guys to go to my two Instagram pages. I have uh, one for the channel itself, Mid America Prep, on Instagram, and then I have one for my uh, camper restoration, which is Vintage Camper Resto. Or vintage Camper Resto. Um, I have a 1967 uh, fan travel trailer that I am restoring, and that's really the big reason why I bought this trailer was to um, take material back and forth. But in the condition that this was, it wasn't safe to be traveling three hours to and from, so a six hour round trip, um, hauling you know heavier loads of material and tools. Um, very stable trailer, but the walls, they just weren't fitted right and it just wasn't built up correctly. So um, anyways, if you wanna watch the restoration of this trailer on Instagram, be sure to like both Vintage Camper Resto and Mid-America Prep. Anyways, keep comment carry on, guys. Stay safe. See you later.